All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a professional looking banner for your YouTube channel. Now, what makes this video a lot different than most of my banner tutorials is that this one is gonna be for more of like a lifestyle or variety type of channel. Now, I think this video is gonna do really well and I think a lot of you guys are gonna be really interested in how to make a banner like this just because it is becoming more and more common nowadays for people to actually be like a variety channel or for people to just upload whatever they feel like uploading or whatever they enjoy making videos on in general so yeah if you don't put any fortnite or any gaming stuff or if you don't really put like anything super specific in your thumbnail and you kind of just make it like very simple like the one you guys see in the thumbnail it gives the impression that you're not necessarily a gaming channel but you could potentially still be a gaming channel it makes your profile look super aesthetic in my personal opinion especially when you go for a certain color scheme like you guys see on this one in specific as well as that if you end up switching content on your channel like you started off say as a gamer like making commentaries and stuff like that and then you end up switching to maybe like a vlog or like a lifestyle channel if you have a banner like this you're never gonna have to change it you maybe you add a sponsor on there every now and then but that's the nice thing about having simple branding like this but i think that's enough for the intro before we get too far into today's video if you guys haven't already left a like and subscribe to the channel please make sure to go ahead and do so i do tons of tutorials on this channel including banner tutorials thumbnail tutorials and even like twitter header tutorials so make sure you guys also have that notification bell on so you guys know when my video Videos do go live and yeah let's just go ahead and jump into today's tutorial all right so if you guys are new to pixlr which i'm going to assume you guys aren't but you might have found me from youtube search but pixlr is a website you can basically do all the same things on pixlr that you can do on photoshop and but with pixlr you don't have to download anything it's literally just a website that you can hop on and start making all your stuff all right so getting into the folder you guys should go ahead and download this there's a top link in the description for the google drive with all of this stuff in here make sure to download everything from the google drive and just like toss it on your desktop for ease of access but in here let's go over it quick i have social media icons i have all of these pre-made so if you guys could leave a like on this video and support this i'd appreciate it i do a lot of work behind the scenes but these are all exactly the same ties and they're all overlaid in white so it's going to match like the theme but we got the youtube logo as a png we got the twitter transparent logo we have the twitch transparent logo as well and we also have instagram and also if you guys want to use these in the future for other designs feel free to it don't matter to me but we're going to get out of that and then we also have a cutout of myself which i'm going to put on on there and you guys should have a cutout of yourselves as well now you guys don't have to but i think it has a nice personal touch to your banner i'll toss a little card up if you guys want to know how to cut yourself out on pixlr i have a full tutorial on it again there's going to be like a card up on the screen for you guys to click it and go ahead and watch it for yourselves if you guys do want to but yeah i think that's enough talking for that let's go ahead and jump into actually making the banner all right we're gonna head to pixlr.com as we go here and then we're gonna start off by going to create new and then we're gonna just name it I don't know, like YouTube banner or anything you want to name it. And then for the width and height, we need to make sure we have width on 2560, 2560. And then the height needs to be on 1440. And now this is essentially the size for a YouTube banner. And we're gonna leave the background as transparent. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna hit create and we're gonna zoom out a little bit. And the first thing we're gonna do is layer, add image as layer. And we're gonna find that template that I actually have saved in the folder. So we're gonna double click on that template and we're not gonna to touch anything at all. And we're gonna first go to that template and I'm going to lock it so I don't move that at all. That's not something that we wanna to be touching. So first thing I'm actually gonna do in this that I actually didn't do in the other one is I'm gonna to go to the draw tool right here and I'm just gonna leave it as size one or whatever. And I'm going to mark these areas on the template where it has the desktop minimum and mobile because the key thing with YouTube banners guys is that you want it to look clean on mobile and the way you do this is that you mark it so then when you end up overlaying this entire middle part for the banner you have a general idea on where that cutoff for for desktop and mobile is because this is going to be covered so I just like to leave this little dash up in the top and bottom where it is because this top part is all cut out by like TV anyway as you guys can see here so it doesn't matter if you scribble all over this it really doesn't but but let's go ahead and start off with the background guys now you guys can choose a different like two color scheme as this now mine personally is just red black and white now you guys can go for like a blue white and black kind of vibe or like green uh, purple like anything you guys want whatever you guys think like fits your uh, channel or your theme or you guys can go for a simple like black and white if you guys really want to but it is completely up to you but I'm gonna go again for that white and red so first things off we're gonna go to the lasso tool and we're gonna go to polygon and I am going to click and I'm going to click again, and I'm just gonna outline all of this, clicking at each corner, and I wanna make sure we're covering 
all of that area go back to the start and click again i want to make sure we're covering all that area now we're going to go to the draw tool i'm going to go to the brush and i'm going to go to softness at zero and i'm going to make sure this is on the white and i'm going to drag the size up a bit more and we are just going to color this all in white bada bing bada boom we're going to want to make sure we're clicked on that layer as well the entire time as you guys can see this is what i meant about like marking that uh, desktop and mobile cutoff edit we're going to go to select and deselect now we're actually going to do text first so the text i actually use or the font that i actually use for this is actually the subaru font and i'll toss another link in the description for this spot font in specific for the actual like name for myself but i'm going to go to settings and i'm going to go to italic I'm going to double click again and I'm just going to put ice. Now I want the color to be like a dark black so I can see it. Not quite. There we go. And I'm going to go to size. I'm going to drag this up a bit. And I'm going to put it right about, I'm going to say here. And then I'm going to take that ice. I'm going to duplicate it so we have like the same exact layer. I'm going to double click. I'm going to go to kicks. And then this one's going to be in like a red color like you guys see the thumbnail. If you guys are doing a different color, make sure to just put it as that. Now this is what I'm talking about when I when we go to like the mobile cutoff. See the mobile cutoff is right here. So what I'm gonna wanna do is take the ice and I'm gonna use the arrows on my keyboard to just shift it over. And I'm just gonna shift it over as much as I can to get that kicks in the mobile like cutoff. So when you're on a phone and about like 80 to 90% of users on YouTube are on like mobile phones. So I think it's very important for you guys to get this in mobile. We're just gonna keep clicking until that kicks is in there and then we're gonna drag the ice over to fit that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this kicks and I'm going to merge down to merge it with the ice and the kicks. So this is now, as you guys can see here, just one little layer here. And it actually is a little bit big. So I'm gonna go to edit free transform and i'm going to make it a tad smaller and we're going to put it right about there and i'm going to go to yes and there we go now let's go ahead and focus on the other side so we're going to take the lasso tool again and go to polygon in the top left make sure we're click clicked on this back layer like that entire one and we're going to click right about up here and the key thing with this is that I want it to be like as like perpendicular with this eye as I can. So I'm going to make it kind of angled it just like that. And I want to click right about here. And right about here. Click again. And click again. And now I'm going to go to the draw tool. And I'm going to click on this color. I'm going to make it the exact same red by clicking on that red. And then I'm going to click on this back layer again. And I'm just going to draw it in. Now, don't worry about going over up here. It's just going to be cut off anyway, so it really, really does not matter. And we're going to go to select, deselect. So now let's focus on getting the picture of me in here. And we're going to also focus on getting this youtube.com slash ice kicks. And I'll show you guys how to do that quick. So first, I'm going to go to layer, add image as layer. And I'm going to find that picture of myself. All right, so we got this. And we're going to go to edit, free transform. And... And we're gonna put it right about here, I think. That looks about good. I'm gonna shift it over. So it just goes right over that Z, because I think that's kind of a cool overlay to have it going over. Now, I'm gonna go to the text tool. I'm gonna go to add text, and I'm gonna go to the Fortnite font, which is actually Burbank Big Condensed. Again, I have this font in the Google Drive if you guys wanna download it. And I also have a video on how to get fonts on Pixlr. I'll toss a card up if you guys wanna go check that out. But I'm gonna assume you guys already watched that or already know how to download your fonts and get them on Pixlr. But I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna go to you, I'm gonna type youtube.com slash, I right, mean to get a dot, youtube.com slash ice. And I'm gonna go size and I'm gonna drag it down. And I'm gonna drag it down just a tad more. And we're gonna zoom in a bit so we can get a better angle of this. I'm gonna shape it right in the middle right here. Now I'm going to hide this PNG of myself. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to that youtube.com slash ice and I'm gonna click on the three dots. I'm gonna go to duplicate 
and I'm gonna put kicks because I had the kicks actually as a different uh, color here. So I'm gonna kind of put that over and I'm gonna put youtube.com slash ice and then I'm gonna make that kicks the color red just like this over here so i'm gonna click on that red so now i'm gonna make sure i'm clicked on that back layer again and go to this um, marquee select which actually kind of just selects a box and i'm gonna select the box and drag it over the top here and now i'm gonna make sure i'm still clicked on that layer go to the brush tool and i actually want to switch to that black and i'm just going to brush this in here then i'm gonna go to select deselect now i'm gonna go to the back to that youtube.com and i'm gonna go to the text tool Double click it, and oh, we don't want that one. I'll lock that. We want the youtube.com one. And we're gonna go to color, and I'm gonna change the color to white. And that, as you guys can see here, is how I made that. Now I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna going to make this PNG of myself visible again. And I'm going to kind of just adjust this how I want to. I want this over both of these. And we're gonna go here. Kind of make it so that YouTube is visible on the right. That's looking about good here. It's gonna still show up in mobile too. Now let's focus on the left side. So we have a new text layer. I'm gonna go to the Fortnite font again here. And I'm going to make it italic again. This one is gonna say streamer. You guys could put content creator, whatever you guys do. And I'm gonna go size, make it a little bit bigger. And how I did this again was click on that back layer, click on the marquee tool, and I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger on the right side as well. Actually, I'm just gonna make it like this, I think this looks good. And I'm gonna go to the draw tool again, but this time I'm gonna go to white, and I'm gonna color that back side in, and then select, deselect, and I'm gonna go to the streamer, and I'm going to go to the uh, text tool again, and I'm just gonna make this the color red. Give it kind of a cool vibe. Now you guys can put content creator like you guys see underneath by doing the same exact thing, or you guys can leave a blank or just do whatever you guys want, uh, whatever like is good for like your personal brand or YouTube channel. Now let's go ahead and focus kind of on the uh, socials as well over here. Now I have like the same socials for most of my social media, but if you guys want to like, if you guys have like different handles for different stuff, you're gonna have to like make a different text layer for each one of your socials but I'm just gonna do this as, like for simplicity purposes. But we're gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and in here we're gonna go to the social media icons white that you guys should have downloaded from the link in the description. All right, so we're gonna grab the Twitter and we're gonna toss it over here. And then we're gonna go to layer, add image as layer. I'm going to add this YouTube right next to it. And then we're gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and we're gonna add, uh, I believe it was Instagram. And bada bing, I'm gonna use the arrow keys to kind of get it perfect. And then we're gonna go to the text tool, add text, I'm gonna make sure we're on uh, the uh, Burbank Big Condensed again. And I wanna make sure again, this is italic just cause I like how it, italic looks personally. I'm gonna go to at ice kicks. I do wanna drag that over there. I'm gonna make it a tad bigger as well. And bada bing, bada boom. We have the socials done. We got the streamer here or if content creator or whatever you guys are. We got this in, we got this in, we got the logo kind of as well. All we're missing is these three dots up here, which I can show you guys how to get. Just go to the text tool. You're gonna go to add. You're gonna make sure you're on the, the Burbank big condensed font. Go to italic and then just do the plus button and just go to the color red or whatever other color you guys are using. And then I usually just take this and I duplicate that plus button. And I usually just do uh, um, layer rasterize and then I go to edit free transform. And I usually just make that plus a little bit bigger than the first one. And then I'll usually just duplicate that plus button again, make it a little bit bigger and put it right there. And then I'll just merge all those layers and just copy and paste another layer with those over there. And I think we are finally done. Now, all you guys have to do now is make sure you have it how you want it and go to file. You wanna to go to save and then just name it however you want. Make sure you click JPEG, 
quality all the way up to 100%. Make sure the width and height is 2560 by 1440. Click download and show in folder. And if I double click it, we can see we have the banner. I think it looks pretty clean, looks pretty fresh. And as you guys can see here, if we go by the markers, this is exactly what's gonna show up in mobile. And then if you go on to desktop, you're gonna see your socials. Then you're also gonna see that extra youtube.com slash ice kicks. So it makes it look super nice on desktop as well as it looking really, really clean on mobile as well. If you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and like this video and also subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. I appreciate you guys all for watching. Make sure to go ahead and drop a comment on what kind of tutorial you guys wanna see in the future. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Thank you for watching, peace.